Here are the five free data tools that will help you turn your idea into big money. So anyone with even half a business brain nowadays needs to be using data to beat the competition. And you no longer have to be a data scientist to do this. There are loads of data tools that are free and easy to use that you can start using right now. You just need to know what they are and how to use them. So these five data tools start wide by looking at large data sets to help you understand the wider market and then drill down to help you get more specific data. So let's see what they are. Possibly the most powerful free data tool is Google Trends. Google Trends takes Google search volumes and plots them over time for a specific topic you're interested in. It has been proven to predict stock market performance, business growth, and whether there are specific niches you should be tapping into. All you need to do is just go to Google Trends and you can search for anything you're interested in. So a company like Tesla to see if it's growing, or niche trends like keto cookbooks, where you can see if they've passed their peak. It can also help you to understand whether demand fluctuates during the year. So here, looking at socks, we can see that they peak every December. So if you need to manage something like your supply chain or stock, it's simple to use, but if you never used it before, I've created a quick, easy tutorial to follow that you can access by clicking here and start using it right now. Google Trends is great for seeing trends. Answer the public helps you to dig deeper and see exactly what is driving the interest and help you to focus. So it also uses Google search data, but it allows you to access the specific things that people are searching for within the topic that you're interested in. So let's stick with socks and we're immediately given the data broken down into questions, prepositions, comparisons, and a couple of others. And if you scroll down, you can see these trees, this one being the question tree. And here is really where you can explore. So each tree branch groups search questions where the darker green the dot, the higher the search volume is. So here we can see that people are searching for why socks leave an indentation and you have to turn your head a little bit and see that they're also searching for when socks leave marks on legs. And if you scroll down to prepositions and we can see that socks without elastic is also searched for quite a lot. So really, if you're looking to start selling socks or you're a sock company looking to launch a new product, you can quickly see that there's probably a market for socks without elastic that don't leave an indentation on your leg. And it's perfect for identifying or validating a product that you want developed or some content that you want to create. If you know your business, your product or your niche, but you want to dive deeper to learn more and understand where the people you're interested in are hanging out online, then Spark Toro can tell you exactly that. Simply type in the things that you think your audience frequently talks about, words they use in their profile, social accounts they follow, and there's a couple more. And what you get back from Spark Toro is an overview of all the key pieces of information about this kind of audience. So for those of you who watch my channel, and if you don't subscribe, make sure you do. You know that I talk a lot about data visualization and how important it is as a business skill. So let's look for that on Spark Toro. And straight away, you can see the top words used in bios, the top hashtags used and frequently used phrases. Scroll down and you see the most followed social accounts like the amazing Nathan Yao, the top websites they visit and, and lots more. So be warned, the free plan only allows for five free searches. So just make sure you use those, those free searches well. Now, if you want to test out an idea or a logo or get a broader public opinion from a large audience, Google surveys is the tool you should go to. Okay, I lied to you, it's not free, but the fact that you can ask 100 people from across your country one question and get an answer back in as little as 24 hours for only $10 means that the value you can get from Google surveys is just incredible and something you should really have as part of your arsenal. It can save you wasting your time and money by validating your ideas, and it's also a fantastic tool if you wanna create con content. So here's a question I asked to 150 people. It cost me $15. And you can see it took less than two days to collect the responses from a nationally representative sample in the UK. We were looking to get an idea as to whether there was a market to help people with odd socks. And so we wanted to know how big an issue odd socks actually is. And so we asked people how many odd socks they have in their sock drawer. And the data showed that one in three people have more than four odd socks in their sock drawer, which we class as having an odd sock problem. And therefore, it shows that there's definitely a problem out there that people have and a potential market to look at. So to use Google surveys, you simply just need to sign in with your Google account, uh, enter your question and then pay with your credit card. No subscription needed, it's a one-off cost. 
uh, and it's really easy to use and you can watch the data come in live. If you want to know more, I've put together a very short tutorial on how to use Google surveys. You should be able to access it by clicking here. So if Google surveys lets you ask questions of people you don't know, Typeform lets you ask questions to people that you do know, like, your customers. So lots of people use Google Forms or Microsoft Forms, which are great, but Typeform and even its free plan has a far better user interface. It's generally more engaging for respondents to use and arguably is also more advanced. It allows you to use levels of logic if you want to go there. And the fact that people use Typeform to create quizzes that they integrate onto their websites or even mini chatbots shows you how absolutely versatile the tool is. It's perfect for understanding things like customer satisfaction, or even if you wanna collaborate with some of your customers to develop your product or improve your service in some way. So again, I've got a short tutorial for Typeform that you can see on your screen right now. Alternatively, if you wanna start at the beginning, you should also see a tutorial for Google Trends. And really the only way to start benefiting from these tools is to start using them now. So watch one of these videos and then jump straight into the tool and they will help you so much throughout your career, throughout all the business decisions you need to make. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of these videos.